All right, welcome to the next session. This is uh, the topic today will be OPA, oropharyngeal airway, class in session. <laughs> All right, that's my new bell. I've been using it for years. So today we're gonna be looking at uh, a, a, a adjunct. This is called an adjunct when it comes to the airway. So today's we're gonna look at something called the OPA or the oropharyngeal airway. All right, so we're gonna look at some of the different types. So this is one type of OPAs, okay? Notice the curvature. I'm gonna talk about the different parts here. So here we have curvature. This is where the tongue is, is. it's located <clears throat> to move it. Now let's go back. Let's rewind a little bit. So here, the whole purpose of this is an adjunct. So to open the airway, we're gonna have to use, you're gonna have to use the head tilt chin lift or a jaw thrust. To add to that, or adjunct, we're going to use these tools. And one of the tools we're going to be using in the airway is an OPA, oropharyngeal airway, okay? So what are the two purposes? There are two purposes, main purpose principles on it is called, number one, is to keep the tongue from blocking the upper airway. So what I have here is an example of that. Let's turn this around. All right, this patient's laying supine. This is what it looks like. In the very bottom, bottom there, that's the esophagus. And as we turn there, that's the airway. So when the patient's unresponsive, right, this tongue falls down and blocks the airway. So we're gonna use the head tilt chin lift or draw thrust. And then we're also gonna add, use an adjunct, all right, in, some situ in the situations that we come across. So here's the two pr main principles. Number one is to keep the tongue from blocking the airway, the upper airway. And number two is to make it easier to suction the oral pharynx, okay? Easy to suction. Then we have these little grooves here, okay? See those little grooves here? And in case we need to suction, all right, we're gonna suction. So suction is possible through the opening side of the center, so there are OPAs that this is closed off and it's like a little circle here. And that's where you, when you give ventilation, it goes right to the hole. But in this case, this is more of a opening on the sides, on one side and then not on the other side. All right, so let me just give you a little example. So from here to here, from one point to the other point is measured by millimeters. So in this case, on if you actually can read it from the side, different manufacturers have it. Um, there's some that don't have this color. And in there, you could probably see it's nine millimeters. All right. Then you have other sizes, which here is 100. Again, there's an indication there. It's kind of hard to see. Then you have the 110. All right. So you have to do measurements. So the next video, we're going to be talking about measurements. This is just knowing what this device is for. All right, so again, here, let's look at this. This is the tip of the OPA, okay? And on this side, this is known as the flange, the flange. And this should rest on the patient's teeth or mouth. And the techniques will show uh, on the next video. All right, so from there, we're gonna look at a couple of things. So we have the indications. What are the indications of that? Unresponsive patient without a gag reflex, okay? Breathing or apneic, any apneic patient that needs to be ventilated with a BVM, back valve mask. All right, here we have the contraindication, which is a conscious patient. Any patient um, who is conscious, unresponsive, who has an intact gag reflex. All right, so the gag reflex is something that if you used to take your finger and put it down your throat, you go, that wrenching sound or that gagging, so that's the time when you don't use this. This is where it could be detrimental. So a conscious patient or any patient who's conscious or unconscious who has an intact gag reflex, we would not use it, okay? And here we see the indication. The indication, again, is an unresponsive patient without a gag reflex, all right? And um, or any patient, apneic patient, who is being ventilated with a BVM. So that's pretty much what we'll be using that for. All right, so I hope this helped. All right, again, this is the OPA. We're gonna show you in the next video how to insert it. All right, all right, so this is one of your tools in your toolbox as a technician.
All right, thank you until the next video. If you like, hit the like button and subscribe and share. Thank you.